Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we created this little top bar for our Bootstrap site in the last video. And it works absolutely fine. But if we look at it on responsive devices, I'm using Google Chrome here. So if I hit the F12 button with the, uh, it's got that great inspector tools. If I hit the responsive devices toggle over here. When it gets down to mobile, we're looking at iPhone X right now. You're losing the telephone number on the right hand side. I think it's still there on our iPad. Just make that bigger so you can see it. Yep, yeah, that's fine. But when we actually go down to iPhone size, it sort of disappears. So let's see where it's actually disappearing. If I hit put this into responsive mode, we can pull it down and see where it actually falls off the end. Right there. So it's right around, let's call it 780. It's a little bit below, it's like 773 or something, but I'm gonna call it 780. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add some responsive media query so it ends up looking a bit more like this. Here's our other one. If I hit the F12 on this one and go to iPhone view, make it a little bit bigger so you can see. You can see both of them in, in the middle there. Okay, so let's get our text editor up. If you don't have a text editor, this brackets is absolutely free. You can download it from a link below the video. Right, here's the section we put in last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some custom CSS. Now you can put this in your custom style sheet if you're using one. I'm going to do it on page here just for convenience. So I'm going to open some style tabs. And in between there is where we're going to write our code. Now, we decided it was at about 780 picks. So what I'm gonna do is say at media only screen and max width 780, which was the width that we decided it was breaking at. Seven eighty picks, and we'll close that out, and open and close some curly brackets. Now, anything, every time the screen shrinks below seven eighty, or any time it's on a device that has a max width screen of seven eighty, it's going to do what's ever in between these two curly brackets here. And I think the first problem we've got here is we've got a margin at the top of. 40 pixels if we go back to this our first one here I'll get this other one out of the way this one here and go back down again the number is actually there but it's down below here because it's sort of fallen off the end now if I was to change that to 80 pixels this is the HTML that we wrote for it the extra margin that we gave to put our bar there if I made that 80 pixels you'll probably see it appear There we go. That's great, but you've got one left and one right. I think they probably look better centrally or both left or however you like to do it. So the first task we need to do when it goes smaller than 780 is make sure that margin top is 80 pixels tall. So let's just refresh this, get it back to where it was. Go back to our text editor. As we're working on the nav bar, let's open and close some curly brackets. What do you want it to do? We need to give it some margin on the top of 80 picks. Because we've already got a style in there, we need to give it the important class to override the style. So that's exclamation important. And that's going to force it give it 80 pixels margin on the top. So let's save that, control S, make sure this is gonna work. Let's refresh, let's hit my F12 key, Google Chrome here. 
And as you can see, it's giving it the space there, fantastic. But we've still got the problem of these being left and right. We could either scoot that one right, but let's put them both in the middle. And to do that, let's add another class so we can target it. Let's go back to our brackets. And let's give these are little divs here of each of them. We'll give it a class of say inf for information, INF. You can give it whatever class you want. That one and this one, INF. And we need to affect the P tag. So we're going inf, so it's going to be class dot inf P to get these. And we're going to want to text align them to the middle. And then in a minute, we're going to want to affect the inf and take away the padding that's on either side there. So let's do that. Drop down from our last entry. Make sure you've still got that curly bracket on the end. With media queries, you're always going to have two curly brackets on the end. And if you don't, you've done something wrong. So the, tar the class we just created is inf.inf. And we want to target the p tag within the inf. So we've got inf and we're targeting the p tag, which is a writing. What do we want it to do? Let's open some, close some curly brackets. I want to say text align center. And that should pop them into the middle of the page there. Now, because we've got padding left and padding right here on both of these. I'm going to add another one just to take that away or else they'll be offset. So that's dot inf. It's on the actual main class itself this time. Inf, there it is right there. Open and close some curlies. And we're going to say padding left. Zero. And we're also going to say padding right. Zero. And that should fix it. I don't know if we'll have to force those or not. And as I said, when you're doing media queries, you're always going to have two sets of curly brackets at the bottom there, which is fine. And don't worry too much about copying this CSS. I'll put it below this video. You're welcome to use it, manipulate it however you need to. Okay. So let's save that and see if it's going to work for us. Refresh. Let's get our uh, Chrome Inspector. It has a line those center, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to inform because there's one or two down here. We're going to have to add the important class to make those work. So let's do that quickly, and that should be it. I can just copy this from up here, paste it in there, and paste it in the one below also. Control S to save. Let's go back and see if that's fixed it. There we go. Perfect. So I hope that's answered your question and uh, it's really easy. Media queries are a fantastic thing to know. On different devices, you're going to want to change things. Let's make sure it's going to work on the iPad and everything. Yep, yeah, that's fine. iPad, iPhone, fantastic. And let's close up our inspector. So there you have it. That's how to add media queries to fix display problems on smaller devices. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.